Hi, welcome to Bipolar Mindfulness. My name is Ash. Here we talk about two main topics. One, having a mental health condition, and two, cultivating mindfulness. Okay, let's jump right in. Yesterday, we were trying to recover in Nashville from a devastating tornado. So, let's talk about what happens when a major event causes us to destabilize. We've talked about destabilization. All that means is there's a road and we wanna be on the road, right? We wanna have the highs and the lows. We wanna experience life to the full. But destabilization means that we start to go off the road. So we might have a manic or hypomanic episode or a depressive episode. So we wanna stay stable or on the road. When the event happened, I became destabilized and, and I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I couldn't stop it. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't a poor choice that I made. And a lot of times that's how it will happen is we're doing everything we can to stay mentally healthy. And most of us are very committed to that and it takes a commitment for sure. And then something happens outside of our control and we go into a depressive episode or in my case, I am being very cautious because I am absolutely fast tracking toward a hypomanic episode. So the first thing I did today, I made an appointment with my doctor. She and I have got to come up with a plan. Here's the catch. Today's March 4th and she couldn't see me until the 10th. So I have six days where I have to do as much as I can to stop things from progressing. So between now and when I see her on the 10th, what I'm going to do to make sure that I don't continue to progress and things don't continue to build toward a hypomanic episode is I'm gonna practice self-care. What that means to me is twofold. One, I'm gonna get as much rest as possible. I'm gonna sleep as much as possible and rest as much as possible. If I do any uh, cardio or any intensive exercise or a bunch of cleaning or do a lot of work, then that is just going to build um, the progression toward the, the hypomania. And so I'm giving myself, I'm not even giving myself permission. I am telling myself to rest. It is better for me to rest right now. After a hypomanic episode, so when we destabilize, right, here's the road, we're going off the road toward hypomania, all right, fine. And then we don't just get back on the, my, I dip back into depression and I stay in depression for weeks. And then it's not about telling myself, okay, slow down, calm down, rest. I can't do anything. I'm, I, I, I rest because I can't, I'm not motivated to do anything. I'm in a depressive episode. So I can either slow down now and try to stay stable or my body will make me slow down. So self-care for me, again, twofold. Number one, getting as much rest as possible, getting as much sleep as possible. And number two, doing the bare minimum. Okay, so that's where we are right now. The one, two, three, four update is a little more exciting. <laughs> the first thing is what does the Seroquel? Still on 175, I'm kind of in the beginning of the, the second week of that. Number two is my weight. Uh, gosh, it, it was only a few days ago that I was at 190. And then a couple days ago, I dropped down to 188. And then I dropped yesterday to 187 this morning. Okay, ready? 185. Now, the only thing I'm doing differently is I have stopped eating five hours before I go to bed. I would love to say that I'm doing this incredible um, exercise routine or I'm eating only fruits and vegetables. No. And I know that that work is, is for me to do. I have to change my relationship to food. 
It's not just the drugs or the medications that are keeping the weight on. It is also lifestyle. But if all I have to do is just close the kitchen down, basically, five hours before I go to bed and I keep dropping, yay. Um, so it's decided. I'm going to be doing this for the remainder of my days. This is, this is a wonderful result. And I know that we've talked about how one to two pounds a day of weight fluctuation up or down is perfectly normal. And I do know that one to two pounds lost in a week is a safe amount. I'm finding a lot of research that says that it can be a little more. It can be three or four pounds because in a week I have gone from 190 to 185. So I'm very happy about that. I'm making progress that's not just water weight gain or water weight loss or just a general fluctuation. If I've had more to eat one day or the other, I'm actually losing weight, which is fantastic. But I am aware that I can lose weight too quickly. It can get to the point that, and in fact, my doctor is going to ask me straight away, have you been losing weight? Because when people go hypomanic, we tend to not be hungry. We tend to not even remember to eat because we're just go, go, go. And so they do look at that and say, okay, if they're dropping weight and we've also got some other hypomanic symptoms, so I'm... I'm paying attention. I'm so happy about the weight loss, but I'm paying attention to it because it's not as simple as, oh, I've dropped two more pounds. Number three, withdrawal symptoms from the taper that I'm doing off of Seroquel. I, there's not really, I think today we're gonna kind of gloss over this one. So how has mindfulness helped me today? When I was able to take a step back, and that's a big part of mindfulness, is just stepping back not not being completely in my head but almost just watching what's happening observing it being objective just being here in this moment and saying do i need to rest do i need to sit down right now i don't want to i want to get all of this done but do i need to rest am i becoming frantic in my behaviors do I need to go to bed earlier? Am, am I getting enough sleep to stay on the road as much as possible until I can, can see my doctor on the 10th? Do I really need to do this project? And I don't, because mindfulness is not about thinking, it's about knowing being in the moment and just having a knowing. So rather than, because my brain is thinking, it's going crazy, what about this, what about that? And that's hypomania is when your brain is just a mile a minute. So mindfulness has said, okay, mind, stop. Just stop. Do you really need to do this right now or can this wait and then I just wait for the feeling yes this needs to be done this needs to be taken care of or no it doesn't so mindfulness is helping me to navigate this process of good self-care and if I choose to neglect that, then I'm headed for a very uncomfortable time that sometimes when I get off the road, I might be hypomanic for a, oh, up to a week and then I'm depressed for at least three weeks. And then there's the stabilization process to try to get me back on the road. And right now I'm in the middle of a taper. I don't want to have to go back up on this medication. I want for everything right now to just, just slow down. To just slow down. I have to calm down. So that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel like anybody else would benefit, please feel free to share. 
Uh, of course, like and subscribe if you'd like to. <sighs> Thank you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.